Hello and welcome to you on this day, on this day today being the 16th of February. Now one of the things that I have noticed whilst doing this is that on certain days of the year more has happened and 16 isn't the most exciting day of the year but do ask some things that happened. So let's get started. So on this day we will look at a day in history as I've already said it's the 16th of February today so we will look at some people who were born people who died, some events, and then we're going to finish with some fun facts, which today are about New York City. So, today, born in 1952, Kim Jong-il, the supreme leader of North Korea between 1994 and 2011, was born in Ryazovsky, the Soviet Union, a dispute of birthplace and birthday could have been 1942 or could have been 1941, but he definitely died. 2011. Also born in 1959, not so disputed this one, was John McEnroe, an American tennis player. He won the US Open in 1979, 81 and 84, and will move in 1981, 83 and 84, and he was born in Weiss, Bolden, in Germany. And in 1965, one of Crash Metal's finest drummers, Dave Romano, Formerly of Slayer, was born. Um, he was born in Cuba. In, so, people who died then in 2016, um, Baruchas Ghani, the Egyptian politician and 6th century general of the United Nations between 1992 and 96, died at the age of 93. And good innings. Pudros, in 2020, Harry Gregg, Irish goalkeeper. Um, we have 25 caps for Northern Ireland and played for Manchester United. Famously played an FA Cup final with a broken neck. And I also believe he was a part of the 1958 Munich Air Crash. Survived. Um, went on to manage Tracy Town, Swansea, and Kuro Alexander and died at the age of 87. And also in 2020, Larry Tesla, American computer scientist. He invented the copy of Charles and Pace, which we still rely on today. I give you one today. He died at the age of 74. And so, what happened? So, in 379 night recorded um, passage of Halley's Comet happened in 900. Pope Gregory the Great decree saying, God bless you, is the correct response to a sneeze. Who knew? It would have been that long ago. In um, 1838, Kentucky passed his law permitting women to attend school under conditions. And in 1840, American Charles White discovers Shackleton Ice Shelf in Antarctica. You see, for Alphys, you can go there. They were even going there in 1840. Mind you, he probably believed the world was a globe. Um, in 1861, Edmund Lincoln stops his train at Westfield on the way to Washington to thank a million year old Grace Pradell in person for her advice to grow a beard to get the boat. Clearly worked. In 1940, the first airplane flight from Los Angeles to San Francisco happened. And in 1923, Howard Carter opened the inner burial chamber of Egyptian pharaoh Tutankhamun to, to find the sarcophagus. In 1923, Catholic newspaper Germana warned against both Nazis and communists. In 1942, Bangor Island massacre, Japan soldiers machine gun 22 Australian nurse, army nurses and 60 Australian and British soldiers and crew members. And two shunkers, sunken ships, only one nurse and two soldiers survived. And in 1943, British Premier Winston Churchill contracted pneumonia. Also in 1943, World War II, the USSR conquer Krakow. In 1951, New York passed the bill prohibiting racism in city assisted housing. In 1963, philosopher Hannah Ardrett. Controversial account of the trial of Nazi war criminal Adolf Eichmann is published in the New Yorker. Continuous traffic jam declared 100 and 
46 kilometers north of Lyon in France in 1980, and in 2005 in the US, UK version of The Apprentice, the British business of Magda, Sir Alan Sugar, or Lord Alan Sugar as he is now, premieres on the BBC. So we got 12 fun facts today, they are about New York City. A little over 8 million people live in New York City, that means one in every 38. People in the United States call the city home. More than 800 languages are spoken in New York, making it the most linguistical diverse city in the world. Four in 10 households speak a language other. Places were so popular in New York in the 19th century that the shells were used to pave Pearl Street. They were also used for the lime for the monastery of the Trinity Church. France gifted the Statue of Liberty to the United States in 1886 for its centennial celebration. The statue was shipped at 350 pieces, 214 crates, and took four months to assemble at its current home on Ellis Island. New York's Federal Reserve Bank has the largest gold storage in the world. The vault is 800 feet below street level and contains 90 billion dollars in gold. Wow, that's a lot of gold. The New York Public Library has over 5 million books and other items and is the second largest library system in the nation. Now to the Library of Congress, it's also the third largest library in the world. So I wonder what the largest one is, we might have to find that out. Might have to do. So, as I've stated already, fun facts are going to be going from March, it's going to be back to return of um, Ask Google. One of them could be on libraries. How exciting. The United Nations headquarters was established in New York City in 1952 after World War II. The first pizzeria in the United States opened New York City in 1895. Since the 1960s, the price of a slice of pizza has roughly the same price as a subway ride, generating the idea of a pizza principle among communists. The borough of Brooklyn alone would be the fourth largest city in the United States. Queens would rank fourth nationally. What? Okay, I don't really understand why Queens and Brooklyn are basically the same size. Okay. Times Square is named after New York Times and it was originally called Long Acre Square until the Times moved there in 1904. New York City became the first capital of the United States in 1789. More Chinese people live in New York City than any other city outside of Asia. More Jewish people live there than any other city, city outside of Israel. There you go people, that is New York City. Hope you're well. This has been the 16th of February. I am Andy, your man in the shed, Andy Creek. Hope you're all well. Hope you're all living the dream, staying safe. Stay safe and stay away from COVID. This has been your manager. See you, pal.